Right, guys how's it going um, I thought I would make a video to explain kind of what's been going on in the last week or so if you know me in real life uh, you've probably heard that I recently quit my job and so people were like what what why where what what are you gonna do why'd you quit your job um, and so I got a little bit of time last Sunday to talk about it and I preached the last sermon that I'd be doing it's our sex talk <laughs> it was a good one was that the talk? That was a good one. I, was, I figured, what am I going to say of my last week? <laughs> How, do you want to know what my, do you want to know what my tagline no, was? No, I don't. The tagline is, how far can you go, is a question people ask when they're dating. And the scripture says to treat each other like brothers and sisters. And so I said, how far would you go with your brother? <laughs> and everybody went, Ew! but I figured I'd add a little bit more since I have a little more time here, a little more personal, and I can let you guys in on kind of the reasons why I quit my job. Um, three of them are negative, four of them are positive because I like to be more positive than negative. Um, but welcome to my house. Here we go. This is the first of like a just me talking video. This isn't like a tutorial of how to quit your job. Maybe it is. How to quit your job. You say, I quit. I put in my six months notice, which is probably not the way most people want to do it. So, um, but here's the reasons. You guys ready? We'll start like a little counter down here, the reasons. The number one reason, I don't know if these are in order of importance or just, just in order of how I put them in order. The number one reason is that I, I burnt out. I was working two jobs. I was a youth pastor and also a creative arts pastor, director at the same church, Newbridge, Newbridge Community Church in Olympia. And I started doing both jobs about a year ago or more. Um, and when I was just doing youth, I loved it, but I was good at um, creating videos and graphic design and web design and stuff. So I stepped into that as well. And so I started having less time for the students, which is what I really loved, um, and just spent a lot more time on my computer and it just slowly ground me down and so I described it as feeling like Bilbo Baggins at the end of Lord of the Rings. Uh, any chance of seeing that old ring of mine again? Not a good picture. So my insides were tired and crusty like an old man and so I didn't want to live like that. I didn't want to live like a, a crusty old man. The second reason why I quit is because I worked with my dad, and I don't know if you guys have ever worked with your parents, but it is difficult. So my dad and I are different in almost every way. Uh, theologically, emotionally, uh, methodologically, um, physically different, um, and management styles. David, it was my understanding that I was not going to be managed. What gave you that idea? It was my understanding. And so when I moved into my role as the arts director, we started working more closely together and um, that got difficult because we have different opinions about how things should be done and um, he's my boss and my dad and there's just conflict. And so I decided um, to preserve our relationship and the relationship with my mom and my wife and my dad and my wife and my mom and me and my wife and my dad and everyone, the whole family, that'd be best for me to step down and let my dad do his thing at the church and I would do my own thing. The third reason um, kind of involves the first two. Um, it was the building project. So we recently decided to um, expand our building and that was kind of the last straw for me because I was just barely hanging on with both positions and then we added this whole new adventure and I just couldn't keep my head above water. Um, there was a lot of conversations with my dad about how things should be done in the building project which was just more and more stressful and then just more and more stuff for me to set up, like the projectors and the sound and figuring out sound boards and the projector glitches and I couldn't figure it out and I spent so much time just banging my head against the wall and it was really my last straw. It's just I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. I was so detached from the ministry and loving people and engaging with people, which is where my heart is at, that I was just like, blah. 
And so about six months ago, I said to my dad, I think I need to quit. And he said, all right. And I said, I'll do it until you find replacements for me. Um, but my hard deadline is May 1st. And so we actually found a couple people to do it for me, Jonathan Hutchins and Taylor, um, who are awesome and they're doing a great job and I trained them a little bit. Jonathan's been with me for seven years and Taylor, I gave her the crash course in two weeks, so she's gonna figure it out. Um, so let's go positive. You guys ready for some positive reasons why I quit? And also why I bought the bus. It's kind of, they're kind of all connected together. And so one of the, the main, the most important thing, most important reason why I quit is because I wanted to spend more time with my family. I love my family. I got a little guy named Leo and a big lady named Joy and a little girl who's expected yesterday. So I don't know, she should be coming soon. But I just wanted to spend more time with them. And with my hours, I was away from home a lot and I hated it. And I've been told that these are the best years of my life with my family. And so I wanted to retire now. I figured I retire now when all the good stuff is happening so I can spend time with them. And then when I'm 60 and the kids are out of the house and I got nothing to do, then I'll start making money <laughs> or doing whatever I want to do instead of golfing. The number two reason why I quit my job and bought a bus is because I wanted to live on less. Um, Joy and I have just um, been talking recently about how excited we are to only have four bowls and four shirts and one pair of pants and just not all this extra stuff. Um, we've been distracted by stuff for a long time and we've been very comfortable and it just kind of makes us complacent. And so we want to kind of strip away that and live life on less and um, experience life more fully with um, just less stuff. So that's, that's one of the reasons. Um, the third positive reason why we bought a bus and I quit my job is so that we could explore the world, um, or at least the um, area you can drive to with a bus. What is this? North America? America? I want, we might be able to drive down to South America. Um, but we want to see the world, enjoy the world, um, be captured by the awe and beauty and majesty of our creation. Um, and I also love to capture uh, content. The fourth positive reason is what I just talked about, is I love to create and I wanted to have um, a platform and the time to create stuff that I wanted to create. And so the bus is the first project. Um, some of these videos are involved in that as well. And then also capturing content out um, in nature and creating um, different things for that. So what's next? Is this too long? I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, what's next for us? I've got a few ideas, but um, here's the tentative plan for what's coming for the Cola Vecchios in the next six months. First thing is I'm gonna finish my bus, hopefully. Um, second thing is that we're gonna head down to the ranch for the summer. Um, Joy's parents um, run a summer camp for kids down in Susanville, California. So we're gonna be down there for the summer, rocking and rolling with them. I'm gonna do their video, photography, uh, media stuff, and Joy's gonna work in the camp store and it's just gonna be a good time hanging out with the fam. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna start a company called colacreative.co. Uh, I've actually already started it, but it's kind of in the beta version. It's undercover, I'm not really advertising, and I'm just doing stuff if people ask me to do it. So if you ask me to do something, I'll probably say yes. And my prices are really cheap right now because I'm just getting started and wanna build a portfolio. So Cola Creative is gonna be web design, graphic design, video creation, and one other thing, print design. And so if you need any of those things, just shoot me an email and we can get working together um, and that's gonna be fun stuff. I'm also in the future planning to um, start another piece of um, this YouTube thing called Theology Thursdays because teaching uh, people the Bible was one of my favorite things that I did in my job at Newbridge. And so I wanted to keep teaching people the Bible and I also want to help cultivate um, curiosity and excitement about Jesus and his word and so that'll be coming up on Thursdays I'm gonna finish my master's degree this Sunday which is awesome and then I'll be qualified to answer questions about the Bible finally um, so yeah those are kind of the things that are coming up reasons why I quit um, I'm very grateful for my time at Newbridge um, they taught me everything I know about everything and so um, I am forever indebted to them thank you if you guys are watching 
Um, I am excited to see what God has for you in the future with Jonathan and Taylor. And I think that's all for me today. What's next? Anything different? That's it. See you guys out there. Thanks for watching the first ever, what is this, a vlog, vlogish thing? All right. You can like and subscribe if you want. You don't have to. See you guys out there. <laughs>